The boy stands awkward beside his noble, seated mother. She, a spectral, pallid face, moon calm, dark telling eyes. They stare at us. And we are witness of their bonded souls. Mother and son, linked by a primal charge, they are clenched forms and frozen thus by fate. The flowers from her apron have escaped into his hand, but not to last. Soon they will take the long and hideous walk that led the mother to her early death. She fed her son before herself, and he remembers this as a survivor of that Turkish darkness that lost Armenia. Rushing from hell towards Utopia, the flowers from her apron went with him, deep in his heart. Embroidered flowers from the earth float by, dreamlike in their suspension, bonding him with her forever, to soak into his days in love and memory. How my mother's embroidered apron unfolds into my life. Born Vazdanik, he left that boy behind, became Achilles in romantic visions of the other world. Ashil dreamed Armenian dreams, a plethora of dreams, folk dreams. He wove them into lookalikes of painters he admired, their shapes and forms made by a man who had not found himself, but knows that he is there. Ashil became that man. Embroidered flowers wrapped lifelong tendrils round his memories. The apron, the abandoned room in Yerevan, the partial roof, his mother gaunt and weak from malnutrition, her death at 39. The flowers settle near to comfort him. They are come from her. But when the battering ram of luckless curses came and came on and on, Paintings caught by fire, cancer, a car crash, broken neck, estranged wife with children taken. All this blinded him forever from embroidery. The flowers could not thrive on that cruel barrenness, no longer call out mother love. He could not hear a whisper of their sound. One summer's day in 1948, he tied the rope and hung himself. The writing on a wooden crate said, Goodbye, my lovets. He and the floral apron were no more. <laughs>